Not to be confused with multiple instruction set computer, also abbreviated MISC, such as the HLH Orion or the Orochi VLIW processor. Minimal instruction set computer MISC is a processor architecture with a very small number of basic operations and corresponding opcodes. Such instruction sets are commonly stack-based rather than register-based to reduce the size of operand specifiers. Such a stack machine architecture is inherently simpler since all instructions operate on the topmost stack entries. As a result of the stack architecture is an overall smaller instruction set, a smaller and faster instruction decode unit with overall faster operation of individual instructions. Separate from the stack definition of a MISC architecture, is the MISC architecture being defined with respect to the number of instructions supported. Typically a minimal instruction set computer is viewed as having 32 or fewer instructions, where NOP, RESET and CPU ID type instructions are generally not counted by consensus due to their fundamental nature. 32 instructions is viewed as the highest allowable number of instructions for a MISC, as 16 or 8 instructions are closer to what is meant by minimal instructions. A MISC CPU cannot have zero instructions as that is a zero instruction set computer. A MISC CPU cannot have one instruction as that is a one instruction set computer. The implemented CPU instructions should by default not support a wide set of inputs, so this typically means an 8-bit or 16-bit CPU. If a CPU has an NX bit, it is more likely to be viewed as being CISC or RISC. MISC chips typically don't have hardware memory protection of any kind unless there is an application-specific reason to have the feature. If a CPU has a microcode subsystem, that excludes it from being a MISC system. The only addressing mode considered acceptable for a MISC CPU to have is load, store, the same as for RISC CPUs. MISC CPUs can typically have between 64 kilobytes to 4 gigabytes of accessible addressable memory. But most MISC designs are under 1 MB. Also, the instruction pipelines of MISC as a rule tend to be very simple. Instruction pipelines, branch prediction, out of order execution, register renaming, and speculative execution broadly exclude a CPU from being classified as a MISC architecture system. History Some of the first digital computers implemented with instruction sets were by modern definition minimal instruction set computers. Among these various computers, only ILLIAC and ORDVAC had compatible instruction sets. Manchester Baby, University of Manchester, England made its first successful run of a stored program on June 21, 1948. EDSAC University of Cambridge, England was the first practical stored program electronic computer May 1949. Manchester Mark I University of Manchester, England developed from the baby June 1949. CSIRAC Council for Scientific and Industrial Research Australia November 1949. EDVAC Ballistic Research Laboratory, Computing Laboratory at Aberdeen Proving Ground 1951 ORDVAC U Illinois at Aberdeen Proving Ground, Maryland completed November 1951 IAS Machine at Princeton University January 1952 Maniac Eye at Los Alamos Scientific Laboratory March 1952 ILLIAC at the University of Illinois, September 1952 Early Stored Program Computers The IBM SSEC had the ability to treat instructions as data, and was publicly demonstrated on January 27, 1948. This ability was claimed in a U.S. patent. However it was partially electromechanical, not fully electronic. 
In practice, instructions were read from paper tape due to its limited memory. The Manchester Baby was the first fully electronic computer to run a stored program. It ran a factoring program for 52 minutes on June 21, 1948, after running a simple division program and a program to show that two numbers were relatively prime. The ENIAC was modified to run as a primitive read-only stored program computer, using the function tables for program ROM, and was demonstrated as such on September 16, 1948, running a program by Adele Goldstein for von Neumann. The BINAC ran some test programs in February, March, and April 1949, although was not completed until September 1949. The Manchester Mark I developed from the Baby Project. An intermediate version of the Mark I was available to run programs in April 1949, but was not completed until October 1949. The EDSAC ran its first program on May 6, 1949. The EDVAC was delivered in August 1949, but it had problems that kept it from being put into regular operation until 1951. The CSIRMKI ran its first program in November 1949. The SEAC was demonstrated in April 1950. The Pilot Ace ran its first program on May 10, 1950 and was demonstrated in December 1950. The SWAC was completed in July 1950. The Whirlwind was completed in December 1950 and was in actual use in April 1951. The first era Atlas, later the commercial era 1101, UNIVAC 1101 was installed in December 1950. Topic. Design weaknesses The disadvantage of an MISC is that instructions tend to have more sequential dependencies, reducing overall instruction level parallelism. MISC architectures have much in common with the fourth programming language and the Java virtual machine that are weak in providing full instruction level parallelism. Topic. Notable CPUs Probably the most commercially successful MISC was the original INMOS transputer architecture that had no floating point unit. However, many 8-bit microcontrollers for embedded computer applications fit into this category. Each stereo spacecraft Includes two P24 MISC CPUs and two CPU24 MISC CPUs. Topic. See also. Complex instruction set computing. Reduced instruction set computing.